there's a way to upgrade your Steam Deck without having to recover what you already have on your drive. Just to show that this is the 64 gig model. What you will need is an uh, enclosure. I'm using a Sabrent USB type C. Do note that you do need an NVMe version with the B and M key. You cannot use something like this. This is SATA only. You need something that has the notch on the other side. To install this, install the little knob that comes with it, push it in at an angle, then the knob back, push down, and now it's secure in place. I have a USB cable. Now we need to go into desktop mode. Once we're on the desktop, we'll need to launch console under system. Then we need to type in the DD command to transfer the NVMe drive contents to the new drive. I'll put that in the description below. So that just took about 10 minutes to complete and now we're ready to switch out the drives. So we'll need to turn off the device. All right, now for disassembly, turn it around. Eight screws. Remove the SD card. Then with a the pry tool. Okay, so it looks like the technique here. To push in on the edge and twist.
forgot to remove this cover. There's one screw here and one screw here. And also one up here. disconnect the battery. the sleeve and now we can remove the 64 gig module. Take our drive out of the enclosure. Using the 512 gig from Keoxia. sleeve back on top. This one seems to be a bit of a That's it. Replace the battery connection. Shielding. So at this point, since we removed the battery, that puts it back into shipping mode. So we need to plug in the USB-C cable to re-enable it, and we can turn it on. I'm just gonna do that off camera. All right, so I plugged it in off camera, it made a beep sound, and at this point we want to check that it turns back on. Looks like it turns back on by itself. wants me to sign in, so I will do that. And 
and there we go we have our full 512 gigs available to our steam deck now we just need to put everything back together and start gaming thank you for watching